Jeffrey Life was born in July 1938. Now he is 84 years old. Until the age of 60, Dr. Life lived the ordinary life of a fading man. A family therapist in New York City, who devoted his whole life to work, suddenly realized that he was neglecting the most important patient himself. By that time, the doctor was already diabetic and had heart problems. He developed a large belly, shortness of breath and chronic fatigue. It was difficult for him to climb even one flight of stairs, and the saddest thing that men are afraid of is that Jeffrey had impotence. The crisis that arose made Jeffrey seriously think about his future life. Then, at the age of 60, a historic decision was made to start a war against old age and gain health. Jeffrey said. Being healthy is never too late and never too early. I will do it. The doctor analyzed his diet and, first of all, excluded sugar, white flour products, white rice, potatoes, foods with unhealthy fats from the diet, and also stopped drinking beer. Then he went to the gym and started training. The doctor chose a former Marine as his trainer, who would not allow him to doubt and feel sorry for himself. Within five months, Jeffrey managed to lose 25 kilograms of excess weight. This victory motivated the doctor to work hard in the gym and do it with consistency. Soon he made tangible progress, the diseases began to recede, the beer belly disappeared, and the body began to acquire athletic features. This was another incentive to continue the battle. Soon, from an old fat man, Jeffrey turned into a healthy and energetic person. The doctor proved by personal example that after 60 you can not only look attractive, but get rid of diseases. Yes, it's work. There will be challenges, breakdowns and failures, but you need to be patient, not give up and move towards the goal. Declare war on old age, Dr. Life repeats. This is a war and you need to fight. One of the challenges that Dr. Jeffrey faced after 63 years of age was the loss of muscle mass and fat deposition in the abdomen and thighs. Despite the fact that he ate right and worked hard on fitness, something interfered with him. It was a period of despair and the man decided to be examined to find the cause. Andropause was the culprit and age-related decrease in the level of testosterone in the body, in which the growth of muscle mass slows down. The answer has been found. Jeffrey got to one conference, where he met with gerontologists. After the consultation, the doctor received a new nutrition program with an increased proportion of protein and a reduced amount of fat and carbohydrates. He was also prescribed hormone replacement therapy. Plus, he picked up vitamins and other supplements that are necessary at his age to stimulate the production of natural testosterone. Within a couple of months, the man felt significant changes in his body. He got rid of fat accumulations and gained high-quality muscle mass. Sexual functions also began to come to life. Here's what every man needs to know about testosterone, says Dr. Life. First, do some physical exercise every day. Secondly, make sure that everything that enters your stomach does not harm you, but benefits you. Thirdly, make sure that there is no hormonal deficiency in your body. Since that time, Dr. Jeffrey has kept himself in good shape for many years. He devotes time to strength training at least five times a week, does cardio, stretching and swimming. But fitness is far from the only occupation in his life. He has a family and other hobbies. Jeffrey trains for a black belt in Taekwondo and is engaged in Muay Thai. And the interest in his own nutrition made him become a professional in the field of nutrition. For someone, after 70 years, life ends, and for someone, it is just beginning. Dr. Life was so pleased with the results of the technique that he decided to incorporate the lessons he had learned into his own medical practice. Since then, he has helped many people fight age and even wrote a useful book on the subject. Here's what Dr. Jeffrey Life says about muscle mass. Older people consume insufficient amounts of protein, and this contributes to muscle loss. He advises people over 60 to take protein and other important supplements. Calcium, vitamin D3, multivitamin mineral complex, coenzyme Q10, probiotics and lycopene. By the way, what do you think about the increase in protein in the diet in old age? Leave your opinion in the comments below this video. And we move on to practical things. Here's what Dr. Jeffrey recommends for weight loss. Rule 1. Eat often. You must train your body to eat small meals every few hours. This forces the body to process all food immediately after consumption and use the resulting calories as a source of energy before they can turn into fat. Rule 2. 
maintain nutrient balance. Your food should be varied, but not leading to fat accumulation. Adjust your carbohydrate intake so that your weight is normal for your age and height and not gaining. Rule 3. Learn to plan your day so that you can do everything. In this matter, many are losing the battle. They do whatever they want, but don't take the time to take care of their health. It is very important to plan where you will be today, what you will eat for lunch, dinner, what kind of snack you will have. You should buy groceries in advance, take a protein bar or protein shake with you on the road. And most importantly, workouts need to be planned. In no case should you skip them, except if you don't feel well or are sick. Dr. Jeffrey visits the gym five times a week. Here is his workout plan, which is suitable for most older men and women. Each workout should last no more than one hour. Monday, chest workout. Tuesday, back workout. Wednesday, shoulder workout. Thursday, arm training. Friday, leg workout. During each workout, do four different exercises for the selected muscle group. Each exercise is done in four sets. In each approach, do 8 to 12 repetitions. It is also important to do cardio three to four times a week, lasting 50 minutes. You can do it on an exercise bike or on a treadmill. Cardio is done on the days of strength training, for example, before it. Today, Dr. Jeffrey is 84 years old, but he feels great. Having once abandoned medical practice, he devoted himself entirely to the fight against old age and leads a healthy lifestyle. The doctor showed by his own example that if you really want to, you can be healthy and active, in excellent physical shape and live a full sexual life. The right lifestyle will help you forget about painful old age. Being healthy is never too late and never too early. Now it's your turn, says Jeffrey Life.